are looking back at round three of the NFL draft with Phil Savage, the executive director of the Reese's Senior Bowl. And Phil, I mean, the third round was like a Reese's Senior Bowl party. Yeah, it really was. 26 total players go in round three. That elevated our total to 42 within the first three rounds. Uh, Larry Ogunjobi, the first one off the board for us. Yeah, Larry from Charlotte, a new football program, came down here. He showed the ability to defend the run. He's also got some pass rush ability from the inside. He goes to the Browns. I think he'll find his way into the rotation pretty quickly up there. Our biggest bump from the round? Well, this is an obvious choice. Chad Williams, wide receiver from Grambling, was not even invited to the combine, but he had a good showing here. Then at the Pro Day, which was actually held at La Tech, he ran 4-3-7. He's a big-bodied receiver, very competitive. He goes in the third round of the Arizona Cardinals. All right, who's going to jump in there and help their team immediately? Well, I think Cooper Cup has a chance to do that. Of course, they added Gerald Everett from South Alabama as a tight end in the second round. And so now they add a slot receiver in Cooper Cup in the third round. And then later they add Josh Reynolds, the wide receiver from Texas A&M, in the fourth round as an outside guy. So they really added some pieces around golf. But I think Cup can get on the field this year. He's got incredible route savvy. Sticky hands really understands how to play. He had a big week down here. All right, biggest value out of these 26 players? Well, I thought Jordan Willis, the defensive end from Kansas State. I thought he might go at the end of the first round. He sails all the way through the second round, and then the Bengals get this bargain in the third round. He will get on the field this year. He's one of my red star players, meaning that you just know exactly what you're going to get from Jordan. But he practiced well. He tested well at the combine, and he was productive in college. I think he'll end up being a future starter for Cincinnati at defensive end. All right, your spotlight choice here is a 49ers choice of C.J. Beathard, earlier than people thought, maybe. Yeah, your team, the 49ers, they take C.J. Beathard at the end of the third round. But I, from what I understand, head coach Kyle Shanahan, this was the only quarterback in this entire draft that he really wanted. And so C.J. gets a chance to go there in the third round. He'll be working with Brian Hoyer and Matt Barkley. And who knows how yeah. this is going to unfold. <laughs> but I think the reality is, is he played in a pro-style system at Iowa. He's got a great background in the sport of football with his family and all, and his grandfather being Bobby Beathard, a former GM in the NFL. And so C.J. Beathard takes his talent to the city by the bay. We'll see how it goes for C.J. in San Francisco.